Hello there, this is Ushwal, brand ambassador for Dress My Craft and today I'm sharing how to create your own dimensional hydrangea flowers using some simple dyes from Dress My Craft and these would be great for home decor, party decor, you can customize them to any size you want. So let's get started. To start with, we are going to die cut some flowers. I'm using the Dress My Craft Easy Cuts machine here and I have the flower die number one. Here it's a four petal flower die and has five different sizes. I'm using the size number two but you could choose a size depending upon your requirement. Uh, next I'm using the floral uh, oriental collection. This is 285 GSM 12 by 12 paper and uh, it's a specialty paper for flower making and I'll, I'll let you know how. But let's first do some die cutting. So I'm making a simple sandwich with the acrylic plate, the oriental paper, die and then closing it with another acrylic plate here. And then all we have to do is run this past this sandwich through the die cutting machine which is really simple, it takes a second and you will have uh, your die cut flower perfectly cut out with sharp lines. So I went ahead and uh, cut out a bunch of flowers beforehand just to save time here. And the next step is to add some color. So I will be using the archival inks because these are waterproof and permanent. And I will also be using this uh, craft mat which is a great protector. It protects your surface from colors and any spills or anything. So I'm using that. So the colors that I'm using today are uh, violet and cornflower blue. So I'm starting with the violet for the centers and it's really simple. I'm using a sponge a dauber here. You could use regular foam sponge as well and just uh, add some color to the center part. Just go with the sponge in some round motion and uh, soft round motions. You don't have to apply too much pressure. The colors are really vibrant already. So. Uh, just we are going to color all the centers of the flowers and then move in on our uh, color blue the different color for the petals so this color is called corn flower blue and again i'm using a sponge dauber this is a different dauber and uh, i'm using like two different daubers for different colors and just adding uh, the color very lightly with the sponge not applying too much pressure I will also be coloring the back side just in case uh, when I'm making the flower the final uh, thing uh, in case the back side shows I don't want it to be completely white and then we just put it in a clean bowl of water. So the paper that I'm using the floral oriental paper is a specialty paper because it holds the water really well it won't tear when in water even if I keep the flowers here for 15, 20, 25 minutes the paper doesn't tear off. Uh, in fact, once it dries, it will become rock solid, very hard and it will hold the shape that I will give to the flower. So that is the specialty of this floral oriental paper and you can see that I'm just uh, taking a kitchen towel, a kitchen towel and um, just removing the excess water. The flowers are still pretty damp but I'm removing the excess water, the water that was dripping. So next, once I've uh, taken off the excess water I'm using a golf groove tool this tool has uh, looks like a golf club and has grooves on one end uh, so you can add more details and indentations on your petals and that is what I'm doing here so again I'm using an embossing mat here uh, which makes it really easy for the flowers provides a cushion for the flowers to take on all the all the shaping and uh, all the steps that I'm going to put it through. So uh, I'm going to add the indentations with the golf group tool to all the flowers here. It'll take some time. So once we have all of those ready, we are going to add a little more shape to the flowers uh, using bone folder. This is a pencil bone folder. And I'm using this because I don't have a ball tool and I wanted to add some detailing to the center. This pencil uh, bone folder has a round end so I'm just using that and pressing the flowers in the center so that uh, the petals come closer together and have a more flower like shape so I'm going to do this again for all the flowers so as you can see um, flower making is time consuming but at the end of the day uh, it's so good to see flowers that you made um, 
yourself and uh, they are so much different than the store bought ones and uh, yeah I, I feel like it's worth the effort and time so once the flowers now I'm waiting for the flowers to dry completely and then we are going to add a pollen to the center so once the flowers are dry I'm poking a hole in the center using my using the golf groove tool uh, it one side of it has a very sharp pointy end so I'm using that be careful of course keep the flower in between your fingers and then very carefully um, poke a hole uh, don't hurt yourself here because that tool is really sharp but then once you have that I am just cutting the pollens in half and I will be adding a single pollen uh, to each flower because that's how I saw hydrangeas uh, look like like real hydrangeas have like this tiny pollen in the center so I'm just trying to mimic that mimic the original actual flower so now that our individual flowers are ready, all that is left to do is to assemble them and combine them together to form our big hydrangea bloom. So I'm using these uh, flower wires, these are long wires because I wanted them to be like home decor flowers. So um, and I'm using hot glue today just to add more dimension and to make it quick and easy. So what you want to do is, I know it's a little bit difficult to see in the video but my hot glue gun um, was at a different place and I couldn't find the right angle to uh, shoot this part but uh, all I'm doing is I'm just combining the flowers to create a round ball and uh, these were about 45-50 flowers and I, were, I was able to make two flowers out of these uh, you will see in snippets here how I'm adding the flowers I'm just applying some hot glue and um, adding one flower at a time to kind of first create a circle and then convert it into a little ball. Ball. So yeah, that's the entire process. It it might take a little while to get the hang of how to uh, get the flowers together and build that uh, hydrangea bloom. But once you have the idea, you just uh, will be able to move pretty quick with this. Keep adjusting your flowers. Keep filling in the spaces. Uh, this is again up to you how dense or how loose you want your floral to be so I, I'm going with a little dense side so I'm making sure that there's no space in between the flowers and it looks as dense as possible uh, and here you can see I'm applying some hot glue just to do petals and just kind of extending the flower outwards so I started from the center and now I'm extending the flowers flower outwards so you can see I have a little bowl ball of flower there uh, almost done and I'm just closing in uh, closing the back side of it so that it's like a complete round ball of flower and the inside is not visible so yes uh, it's taking shape and that's how I finished making these two flowers uh, this was really simple you could do so many different variations of this um, size wise shape wise um, and just have fun with it so I hope you enjoyed this idea and uh, don't forget to leave some comments and share if you like the video and I will see you again next time bye bye